The chiseled second generation Volkswagen Touring gets evolutionary styling, but this particular model is revolutionary for VW. It's a hybrid, their first. In the past, they've used diesels to get better fuel efficiency. But we wanted to have an option for customers for whom, for what reason ever, a diesel engine is not, a, is not an option. And quite an option it is. With a three liter V6, it's the world's first supercharged hybrid system. Combined with a 47 horse electric motor, total power is 380 horsepower. <laughs> Sounds pretty snarly for a hybrid, huh? Let's get something straight right away. This is a very capable all-wheel drive sport utility vehicle. Those expecting Prius-like fuel economy are going to be very disappointed. EPA rates this at 20 miles per gallon city, 24 highway. That slots fuel economy between the standard V6 model and the TDI clean diesel. The hybrid, which drinks premium gasoline, effectively takes the place of the V8 model that's not offered anymore. Throw the eight-speed tranny into drive and let the fun begin. That is some serious torque off the line. Touareg Hybrid feels more like a powerful diesel engine than it does a Prius. Zero to 60 in around six seconds is quicker than some sports sedans. There's the expected hybrid flow chart on the crisp, clear display that shows what's happening with the power. A light throttle foot allows cruising solely on electric power for a mile or so when under 30 miles an hour. At higher speeds, a special clutch disengages the transmission from the engine, which can shut down. VW calls this emissions-free mode sailing. Like other hybrids, the battery is charged when coasting and braking, with the engine shutting down when stopped. Touring has a solid, luxurious feel and corners well for an SUV. The whole driving dynamic is very smooth and refined. It's also quite capable off-road. If the engine didn't shut down at stoplights, you might not know it's a hybrid. In case you're wondering, half of Touregs are sold with the standard V6, 40% are TDI clean diesel. If price is no object, which would a buyer choose when trying to max out fuel economy? In terms of uh, CO2 emissions, the hybrid and the diesel are pretty close together. And the more you go into city driving conditions, the greater the advantage of the hybrid engine, of the hybrid drivetrain, and on the other side, the diesel is better when you're thinking of highway driving. I've driven some hybrids with lumpy brake modulation. That's because the first part of the pedal travel takes advantage of generator drag that, of course, charges up the batteries. Pushing further on the pedal brings you into the actual physical brake system itself. Touring's transition between the two modes is actually pretty smooth. It's easy to order a Touring hybrid. Just pick the color since they only come equipped fully loaded. The cabin looks terrific with high quality materials and lighting. Firm supportive seats are road trip ready. Your tunes will sound great. A nav system makes it hard to get lost. Venturing off road, there's loads of information. My only gripe inside is a cumbersome center console. Touring Hybrid has a great sound system with a hard disk drive to store your music. Folks at Volkswagen, put some tunes on it. You've got to check this out. I'm an old Motown fan. <laughs> It's the German version of Papa Was a Rolling Stone. <laughs> How cool is that? Remove the logos and it would be easy to believe this is an Audi or other luxury German brand. An electric parking brake, power wheel, HD radio tuner, and panoramic roof are nice to have around. As expected, iPods and phones are supported. All right, time to check out the back seat. Touareg can handle three average sized adults back here just fine. Built in sunshades are a nice touch. Seats recline and they are heated back here. Footroom is pretty good. There's a power port and a standard household outlet. Power lift gates are pretty popular these days. Some of them have clutches that allow you to open them manually quickly. Others don't. The nickel metal hydride battery pack is here, so no storage or spare under the floor. There are some adjustable cubbies and a power port, plus a useful elastic strap that comes in very handy. But really, you want to know about cargo space, and Touring Hybrid does fine, handling eight packs of TP. Lock the door, and the hatch will pop open slightly. It's easy to drive off this way, allowing something like a snowboard to slide out. Ask me how I know. Luxury, performance, and decent fuel economy all in one package? I can't see any sacrifice. 
Well, your wallet will make one. Touring Hybrid goes for $61,300. Keep in mind, it is loaded. One in 10 Tourigs will be sold with this system. Those who buy it will never make their money back on fuel economy, but they'll get high-tech bragging rights and a very capable, luxurious SUV. Some of you are probably thinking, wait a minute, there's a Porsche Cayenne Hybrid too. Yes, there is. The exterior is different, the interior dramatically so. Typically, Porsche runs the drivetrain of Cayenne with more of a rear drive bias than Touring, but with the hybrid, the power split is the same in both. 40% up front, 60% to the rear. In the U.S., Touring no longer has the option of air suspension and heavy-duty four-wheel drive system. Really, few people need it. The standard four-motion all-wheel drive is plenty for most drivers. Also not available in the States, radar cruise control, lane departure and blind spot warning, and whole area view camera system. Hey, you stuck around for the very end. Thanks a lot. I do work hard on these videos and I hope you learned a lot about the Volkswagen Touareg Hybrid. Now, if you do like these videos, please do me a favor, click the like button. Apparently, those who know web dynamics say that when that button gets clicked, it makes these videos much, much more popular and then I get to do more of them. All right, click that like button. That's Driven, I'm Tom Volk.